Hi folks, Steve here at Vosswellers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2018 Venture RV Sport Track Touring Edition 343 VBH. Bunkhouse floor plan, pretty amazing. Uh, it's a big trailer, 37 foot 11 inch, that's including the tongue, it weighs 8,640 pounds. It's got three slide out in this one, folks. Uh, we are super happy with this product line. It uh, offers a ton, and when I mean a ton, a ton of features. So. Uh, let's not waste any time and get going on those and by the way, I'm not going to mention them all There's just too many to list so please take a moment and read up uh, the little write-up I have on her Facebook uh, on her uh, website uh, You'll get to see a lot more of the features there or uh, come on in. We'll be happy to show it to you So uh, this uh, particular product has an incredible front cap. It's fiberglass. It's painted It's rock guarded for the bottom and it got it's got this uh, panoramic window uh, that's glue, automotive style. It's a very, very nice uh, touch. LED lights as well. Comes with an electric tongue jacks. LED light, adjustable foot pad. Uh, fully enclosed and heated on their belly. Uh, pass through storage and also storage underneath the bed. It's got a little light that's actually motion detected light. There's also a battery disconnect right there. Slam latch handle on the compartment, very nice. Solar panel ready. All four jacks are electric with individual motor and individual switch. So you get to control that yourself. There's also some blue lights underneath the trailer. We don't get to see it but because it's daylight, but there's some blue light underneath there. Rain gutters with spout extension, uh, including the back wall, folks. And uh, they also put rain gutters over top of the slide outs. A nice touch. 20 foot awning, electric, LED lights on the roller tube so you get to change the inclination of the lights if you want. New step, was introduced last year, very nice, it folds up, stays up between the door frame. Aluminum wheels, a second door to the bathroom on this particular model, very nice. Aluminum thread on the step. Entertainment system, outdoor kitchen, all in one, 39 Flat, 39 inch flat screen TV, MFM CD DVD, Bluetooth right here as well. Two burner stove, sink with hot and cold, fridge, and some storage. Very nice, very complete. Here we have the uh, switches for the back jacks. On the back of it we have a 250 pounds capacity cargo rack. It flips up or down. We got a roof ladder. We got a backup camera. We got a cable and satellite connection right here. In between a couple of the slide out, we have our black tank flush, folks. Two black tank, two gray tank on this trailer, so two black tank flush. We have our water connection. We have our outside shower as well. All between a couple of slides. It's a little tight, so let's not uh, let's not try to squeeze by. We'll just go in and take a look at the inside. Uh, hot and cold. Uh, actually, your hot water tank is uh, gas and electric. Little hamper patio light as well. Right when you walk in, you got this motion detector lights as well. All interior lights are LED. Very nice little trailer. Uh, where do we start? Three fold Ida bed sofa. Lots of windows as usual. In all uh, Venture RV product, they don't go cheap on the windows. Even the one at the end opens up for ventilation. Our booth, there's access to storage at the front. And they put bins in there as well, so a little easier to get to it. Very nice, very nice touch. Full floor to ceiling pantry. Uh, that door to get to that half bath, which has a medicine cabinet, porcelain foot flush toilet, and a power fan on the wall the light switch and a switch for the fan as well very unusual to be honest 8 cubic feet fridge with a stainless steel front which will match the microwave and the oven by the way uh, pots and pan drawers, all our drawers are made out of plywood ball bearing hardware, the whole drawer extend hard surface countertop stainless steel sink, very deep pull out tap, very nice they uh, they don't forget little things like a shelf. Very nice. Your stove top is glass, bifold, very nice. 
There's igniter as well. Fire it up. And one of the features that I really like is they actually put a couple of doors here to have access to more storage. And that's where your water pump is. And there's a bypass, winterizing bypass kit already installed on it. So makes uh, it makes uh, getting the trailer putting it away for the winter a little easier. There's a hanging closet at the entrance. Or switch for the slide out, lights and awning, as well as the awning switch right here. 39 flat screen TV, AM FM CD DVD. It's actually the same as what we have outside. A 26 inch fireplace which produces some heat, about 1500 watts. We got left the space open on the bottom. You can put some shoes there if you want. Uh, the skylight with the blind on the roof. Folks, for the living space, that's pretty much it. We have a door to the bathroom and a door to the bedroom. So let's start with the bathroom. Again, foot flush porcelain toilet. It matches the one in the half bath. A nice little vanity with medicine cabinet. We have a monitor panel right here. Regis shower, which I'm a big fan. I like it because it actually, uh, you know, keeps the water inside the shower. Skylight. Somebody very tall is not going to have any issue in these trailers. Again, light switch and one for the fan as well. There's a door to make it to the bedroom. Oh, that front window, uh, just put things in perspective. So the lights in here, it's, uh, is, it's quite amazing actually. Yeah, and with a nice little dresser. So the bottom of the dresser is actually allocated for outdoor storage. That would be the big storage that we looked at at first. But uh, they left you some room with, for a couple of the drawers. Here's a nurse closet and there's a hanging bars as well in there. They added the second uh, fireplace in here. Again, it produced heat as well. A couple more drawers. And same thing as in the living room, they left the space underneath to put some extra shoes or your sandal or your flip flops. A little bit of storage, a window, connection for a TV, plenty of light. There's actually a light switch on the wall. Very nice touch. Uh, designer bedspread, designer sham. There's a little shelf in the corner of each uh, of the bed. There's power outlet on each side and there's a USB outlet there as well. There's a light above the bed, a window that opens, and the one at the front as well. There is storage underneath. We don't get to see it, but the base of the bed is made out of plywood. And there's also access from outside to get underneath here if you want. Which brings me to the way the floor is constructed. This is built a little bit like your home. Floor truss, decked with plywood. That only represents 15% of the trailer manufacturing in the industry. So it's by far the best way of starting uh, the foundation for a trailer. And that's how these folks build their trailers. So very nicely made. Uh, let's go back. Uh, Towards the back of the trailer. We're already look at the bathroom. We already look at the pantry back room here. It's pretty nice for a couple of kids that have many many friends. So very wide bunk, 40 inch on the top, a little smaller on the bottom. But this is where they actually put the outside kitchen entertainment system back there. A couple of the drawers, plywood made again. A little bit of storage here as well. A sofa that would unfold and make another sleeping arrangement and you got a bunk that you, you can fold down as well. The table is removable. There's a big window here. There's a roof vent and one, two, three, four AC vent in this little uh, room here. Behind the door we have another closet and you can hang some clothes and uh, put some extra stuff there. There's also storage underneath the sofa folks. There's a power outlet there. There is a spot for a TV on the wall. And each bunk on this side has its own light and its own uh, USB outlets. Uh, also a light switch for the main lights of the trailer. Huh, folks, what did I miss? I think I got pretty much all of it. Um, one, uh, one last feature. On the way in, the cabinet opened up with a power outlet and a USB outlet. That would be a great spot to put your phone when you arrive at the campsite, forget about it for the weekend, but uh, have it plugged in so it charge. I'm a big fan, really like it. So folks, I think we've done it. If you have any question, please come and see us. Give us a call. Again, read up the little write-up that I have on our website. You'll find a little bit more information there. Uh, awesome trailer. 
uh, would do uh, amazing parked uh, permanently or it can also be towed with all of the extra features that we listed uh, it would make uh, it would make camping a little easier I think we've done it it's fine thanks for watching